Alright everybody, welcome back to Loading Marriage. Glad to have you back. I'm already irritated with Sandy because we're, uh, you know, we, rec yeah, we record a couple of these videos at a time and she decides now's the time to eat chocolate and drink water, you know. I don't know if you guys can all hear that or not, but she also drinks like a horse, I swear. It's, she's the loudest, drink like she's the loudest drinker. She's the loudest drinker. But anyways, we're playing Star How Wars Battlefront 2. drink too. like a horse? Very loudly. Have you ever heard a horse drink? No. They're loud. So we're playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're Lando Calrissian right now, and we're doing this thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know where I'm going, because I got turned around or... I don't know where you're going either. Yeah, the, 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 here. Like, you can't barely see that. They, they need to give you, you a get mini map. Yeah, mini map. I said it again. No, and I'm fine with that because I agree with you. Yeah. So now you've said it so many times when we go back to playing your game, you better be looking at that mini map every single time. You know, I'd like to tell you that that's going to happen, but I know myself. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, you do. That's going to be. Oh, what's that? That is the head of a AT AT. Oh. Well then. Hey, uh, can you move? Your cape is in my way. See? See? Ca cape. Capes are stupid. Right? You know, no sense of personal space. But I have a great sense of style. No, you don't, Lando. <laughs> That's like what a pimp would say right. <laughs> in a big purple hat. And <laughs> Leopard skin boots and. The <laughs> but that's what you said about rescuing Han Solo from Jabba's palace. We figure it out. We always do. Nothing ever goes according to plan when you're around. Yeah, yeah Lando. That's the central terminal. We can shut down the factory's power from there. We just need to get past all these stormtroopers. Come oh, on, you and me back in action. So. 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 We were, uh, again, we, we, we kind of look up some odd questions and things before these things, before we start recording. Um, just to create conversation. And th I found one that I really like this idea. Okay. What, like, if you can make one mythological creature real, and it would benefit the world, it has to actually be a benefit, which one would you bring? Which one would you... A have unicorn. A unicorn. How's that going to benefit the world? Uh, it's a okay. it's a horse with a spike on its head. Uh, well, if it's an awesome unicorn, it's also got a rainbow mane. Okay, what's what's that have to do with anything? It's pretty. Well, that's not really going to benefit mankind. Well, okay, but... here's how it benefits mankind. Unicorns bring joy to people because they're pretty and people like them. Is it like the unicorn from the Squatty Potty commercial that poops ice cream? Um, that just makes it even like better. Like Rainbow Sherbert, which, by the way, we have friends that, uh, for a baby shower, bought us a the Squatty Potty stuffed unicorn. Yes. And I'll put a picture up right here. Um, it does. It, 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 it is awesome. And for those that don't know what the Squatty Potty is. Oh, please go, go, go Google look it. Up. it. Yes, look it up. The commercial is amazing. It's hilarious. And I guess the product actually works. Yeah. Like yeah, what yeah. your brother has one, yep, right? Yep. Yep. So. So you're, you're, you're picking the unicorn, huh? Yeah, I, I would totally pick a unicorn. People love unicorns. And you can buy unicorn farts and it's cotton candy. And who doesn't love that? But I don't think that... Again, I don't see how that's really going to benefit the world. Like It just brings joy and happiness. I mean, what's that to like? Maybe you could broker a deal for world peace with unicorn blood. I don't know. With unicorn blood? Yeah, wow, that's like some unicorn... dark That's some, like dark magic stuff that you're bringing out now. Like. Maybe unicorn we blood just slaughter if, if, if we slaughter the unicorns, we can cast our spells and <laughs> bring about world peace. That's like something like the bad guy who thinks they're a good guy would say. It's like, oh, it it's totally for the great. Is. It's for the greater good. That's why we're sacrificing orphans. It's it's yeah. okay. Yeah. So that's a little evil. So well, okay. So what what would you say? 
Um, let's see here. I would... I think fairies. Fairies? Fairies. Like, I'm thinking, like, Legend of Zelda fairies, because they heal you, like, instantaneously. Huh. Right? You can keep them in a bottle. But would those be the only fairies? I mean, there's all kinds of, like, a Tinkerbell. Yeah, no, Tinkerbell... I don't know what Tinkerbell really did. Yeah, I, mean, I don't fly. know either. I know she was magical. Oh, well, didn't she make us that Wendy could fly and the other... Kids. Oh yeah, fairy dust. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Isn't uh, what's the, there was something where like there's things called fairies, but they're like actually just like little flesh eating things. Like huh? they're like they're called fairies, but they're like these like horrible lizard things that just like eat people and swans. Uh... I don't remember what if it was a movie or a show. I'm. I'll try to find it, but... Yeah, I... I don't know what you're talking about. But, yeah, but not not those fairies. We're going to say the, the, the ones that heal people and that give you little uh, fairy dust to make you fly, so... All I think right. that'd be a benefit to the world. Yeah, I guess so. You know? Um, still have no idea what this little thing does. I think it's not for comes out. Okay, so this is might be a stupid question. Oh, okay. I always love it when you say this. Because <laughs> a lot of times it is. Go on. But are ligers a real thing? Are ligers a real thing? Yeah, like, have they really bred lions and tigers? I feel like maybe I heard about that. I, I, I believe they have. Yes, they have. I think they're, like, gigantic. And isn't too. it like a mule? Like, they can't... Then um, they're sterile. Yes, most uh, most like crossbred animals, like yeah, like a mule, uh, is is sterile. Okay, so then that's not mythical. Is that what you were gonna suggest? No, I was just thinking about different mythical creatures, and I thought, what about oh. a liger? And well, then I'm like, say, like ligers are real. Well, and I was gonna say. What benefit would a liger what? have? Like, oh yeah, we just need another large killing machine. Like, <laughs> I would say because they're pretty kitties. You have no idea what they even look like. Um, it's a lion and a tiger put together. I'm sure it's beautiful. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna look up a picture of it. And we're gonna see if it is beautiful or not. I bet you it is. Ow! 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 Yeah. Okay, so now that I've figured out how to use his little thing, it's actually pretty helpful. His aim is... Yeah, really. Ah! Oh, that was right. So, so now that you know that ligers are... Well, we're assuming that ligers are real. I'm, I'm almost positive they have. But... Yeah, I feel like that's a real thing. Yeah, well, so what other mythical creatures? Um. Well, dragons are mythical creatures. Do you think they're really going to be a benefit? I think they're just going to um, be like a bane to. If, if they're like, if they're like the dragons in How to Train a Dragon. Okay, that, that's that, that that's 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 a valid point. Yeah, I mean. you fly around on them. They're like giant flying lizard dogs. Lizard dogs. Yeah, I mean, their personalities in the movie were kind of like dogs. I'm working on it. Okay. Yeah. So if you have trainable... Yeah. Okay. Now then, It'd be pretty cool. What this does. Yeah, that would be. See, I would think, like, dragons also just be cool. Like, if they were, like, the type of dragons from, like, certain movies, but they're not, they're not just, like, running around randomly, you know, uh destroying villages and things like that but like you know they're just there like to guard something like a big chest of gold or something like that like have a little bit of adventure in the world like people can go on quests then like you get together with your buddies and you 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 you, you level up i mean that'd be kind of cool um, whoa 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 could also just die yeah, that's just part of it that's that's what the fairies are for you keep a bunch of fairies in bottles. When you die, they come out and they heal you, just like in Legend of Zelda. But then, what do you do? Kill the dragon? Yeah, that's what dragons are for. They're they're they they're, they're to guard things and and to be killed. That's that's. So it. how is that any better than me talking about sacrificing unicorns for world peace? Because unicorns are supposed to be like these majestic creatures that everybody loves. 
dragons are inherently dangerous and evil. Okay. And I came up with the scenario that you get to go on a quest. And you just wanted to slaughter unicorns. Uh, I didn't want to just slaughter them willy-nilly. I was talking about brokering a deal for world peace but with glittery not... unicorn blood. But if I'm not mistaken, like, whenever that happened, it was black magic that if you had to use unicorn blood. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't think there's much, like, white magic that uses any type of blood. No, because it's the good guys, and the good guys don't go around killing stuff. Well, you don't always have to kill things to get blood. Okay, that's true. So, in all fairness, then, I was the one that just came up with slaughtering unicorns. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we could just be taking, like, you know, a syringe, pull out a couple cc's of blood. It's not really a big deal to a horse. Yeah, right? <laughs> the, I mean, humans can give away a pint at a time and be fine, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure horses would be cool. Yeah. You know, taking a little bit their magical glittery blood. I just assume it's glittery. I think more like uh, purpley. I, I think it looked like purple nail polish. Glittery purple nail polish? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, well, I don't know if like, I don't want to say glittery so much. Because like, when I think glittery, I'm thinking it has like, you can definitely see the individual pieces of glitter. Like a very fine, so it's, it's kind of like, Pearlescent, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sounds pretty. You want to bathe in unicorn blood now, don't you? A little bit. A little bit I do. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Sounds beautiful. Wow. Could you imagine if unicorn blood is like a fountain of youth type of deal, and you bathe in it, and you like look all young and beautiful. You are taking this in a very, very dark direction here. What's dark about... Bathing in unicorn blood. Did you just ask, <laughs> what is dark about bathing in unicorn yeah, blood? Yeah, I did just ask that. You do... I mean, it's a little weird, but, I mean, if it makes you, like, all young and beautiful... It, but that's what is dark about it, is Why? you're sacrificing another animal... Because at this no, point, okay, okay, well, hold on, we're hold on, back hold on. to you talking about slaughtering unicorns. We just said you could get the blood without slaughtering. Yeah, unicorns. okay, no, but if you have enough to bathe in, you kind of okay, you're making the assumption that you've just killed two or three of them. No, you're not gonna, you you're not gonna a take a small herd. vial from like a thousand. You've unicorns. got a whole herd. You take a pint from each. You fill up a little tiny tub. It doesn't have to be a full. I'm not talking like a freaking soaking tub. But jeez. I don't have time for this. You know? Just shoot the thing. Ha! Ah! <laughs> is it bad that I... It, or is it weird that I always feel a little sad when one of those... Oh! Goes, oh. <laughs> oh! All right. So it's sad that you feel well, what now? When, when an AT-AT goes down, like... Somebody kills it. And it falls face first and kind of whacks it. It I, looks like an animal, so then I just feel sad for it. I'm like, aw, poor thing. And then I'm like, no, it's a machine. Yeah, it is. It's just a giant machine. All right, let's be a little more careful with our jumping now. Ah! Yeah! Trip, did you find us a ride? New plan. Meet me in the back near the assembly. See, plan. now, okay, here's where his cape is a real detriment. Because you're yeah. telling me that it's not lighting on fire as he right? walks past. I mean, just, okay. Also, for the uh, everything that I can't show you, but you know, as close as you were to that molten steel, yeah. so part of my job takes me into steel mills, and I can tell you, you will not be that close to molten steel yeah. without your clothes catching on fire. I mean, it is ridiculously hot. And he's wearing a freaking cape. And that I looks doubt like it's fire resistant. It looks like wool to exactly. me. Exactly. Like, it's just waiting to okay. blaze up. Oh. Oh, okay. Man, he's pretty mouthy to a general, right? Right? No respect. Head towards that shuttle. Get us to higher ground. There was that shuttle. So what about like Sasquatch or the Loch Ness monster? With pleasure. Well, do we classify them as mythical? I mean, because. They're mythical. They don't exist. You don't know. We don't know that. They they might exist. I 
don't Welcome. think that they do. But see, if they did exist, I feel like it helps the world by making all the crazy people who insist that they exist feel better knowing that they're right. And then they don't feel crazy anymore. Well, again, I feel like Loch Ness, like, especially like Loch Ness, like, okay, he's got to be doing something. Or she. It could be a she. I don't really know. Pick up the pace. What do you mean it's got to be doing something? Like, 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 like the dragons, where it's not just hanging out, it's guarding something. Oh. It's, it's some type of treasure, or, or like an epic weapon, like a so like an ice sword, or something cool like that. Why does it have to be guarding something? Because, why wouldn't it? I mean, we're... I why would it? It's just chilling in a lake. I don't know. Because it, it just does. Why can't you just go with this? D does, d does Loch Ness Monster need a greater purpose? Yeah, I feel it does. Uh -huh. I feel everybody needs a purpose, so Nessie's is going to be to... to Guard an epic weapon? To, yeah. To... That you can use on your quest when you go kill dragons? Right! Yeah, I feel so. That, there's the question. If you're going to go on this quest, I mean, do you take modern weapons, or do you have to learn how to use like swords and spears? And... I suppose that's up to the uh, adventurer. You know, some people it, may it, wish it, to it, go. It would, it would like kind of not it'd make it not so much like an epic quest if you were to go and it's just like machine gun. Yeah, <laughs> just like machine gun a a giant flying lizard down. It's like, oh, well then. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. That was, what? Did, did it, um, you? What just happened? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, y'all gonna die. Yep, because that's what we're gonna do in this game is kill Lando Calrissian. If I die here, I'm glad you will too. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you it would be fine. Destroying that factory had a bigger impact than we thought. Admiral Akbar is calling all Republic ships to Jakku. The whole Imperial fleet is there, minus the equipment they would have received from Sullust. I expect my father will be there too. But catching him is no longer our priority. This battle could be the end of the war. Let's get in, and we do what we can to help. Or die trying! What? Like they, they, they could have ended it with that, yeah. So that's the truth. Carabas. I'm picking up the stress calls. Too many to count. Del, the Corvus is yours. Cover the sky. Shriver and I will help on the ground. Hold on a moment. Aiden. Make sure you come back. I love you. Make sure I have a ship to come back to. Do they always I have know. to throw in some type of love interest into everything? Well, let's face it. Trip. I hope you survive this incredibly dangerous mission as well. <laughs> Thank you, Dal. Your friendship means everything to me. I like Shrev. <laughs> He's saucy. But yeah, there's always going to be a love interest. Let's face it, that's how cute it is. Especially you get a man and a woman in a dangerous, life-threatening situation. I mean, studies show that you're more likely to fall in love then. What studies have been... Like, do they put a man and a woman in a room and then, like, a couple, like, shifty-looking characters with guns? <laughs> they, they've done studies where they have people, like experience something like scary like going over like a rickety scary bridge that's like really up high and then they give them like, like a quiz to see this didn't like go against some ethics code to put people in danger like they that? weren't actually in danger the, the 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 bridge was safe but it was like if you're scared of heights like it's still terrifying because it's like a little bridge over a big Crevasse. You know what? It's all making sense why you want to bathe in the blood of unicorns. Psychologists are terrible people. 
And that's where we're going to end this show, is that psychologists are terrible people. That's a horrible way to end the show. What if people hey, out there Hey, but you know what? I get to end it how I want to. Bye, everybody. Professional, and you just told them that they're terrible people. We help people. Ish.